spiders, but hurt Adam. Barnabas? No, it's Miss Winters and Mr. Clark. You'll have to go in the next room. Stay there quietly until I come for you. It may be some time. And Adam, try to remember why they chained you. What are you going to do to me? Hypnotize you, that is all. If you actually are Peter Bradford, we should know it with luck within the hour, if you're prepared to face it. Miss Winters, I, I don't like to appear inhospitable, but uh, would you please go back to Collingwood? Will you come there, Jeff? I promise. Vicky wants so much for me to be Peter Bradford, and it's so hard for me to believe that I lived in 1795. But I guess, uh, guess I'll face that uh, when I come to it. You sit down, please. Yes, I'm ready. Watch my eyeglass. Watch it. Don't take your eyes off it. Soon it will appear to be the pendulum of a clock, taking you back, back, back into time, your time, whatever it is. Do you hear the ticking of the clock? Not yet. Keep watching it, back and forth, second by second, the clock ticks. I hear it. Do you? And tell me, what is your name? Jeff Clark. Has that always been your name? Since. Since when? The hospital. Portsmouth. And before that? I was lost. It was raining. I didn't have any money. I was staring at a building. He gave me food. Who gave you food? Dr. Lang. And before Lang? I hate him. He made me do horrible things. Nobody should have to do what I had to do. What does he make you do? He's dead. He doesn't make me do anything anymore. He's dead and I'm glad and I hope it died with him. It? It? It was almost finished. It was almost finished, but he needed a face. Maybe he was never able to make it live. Maybe. He was going to use my face. What was he going to use your face for? Oh, his creation. He thought he was God. He was going to make a human being from human parts. Lang was... Go ahead. Tell me. I... He was going to make it from... from parts I brought. I shouldn't have done it. I, I wouldn't have done it. But he told me I was a murderer. Yes. But I know now I'm not. You say the man was... Almost finished before he died? Yes, he came to me the day before. He wanted me to help him. And you refused? I wouldn't help him. But someone did, didn't they? I don't know. Barnabas and Dr. Hoffman? They knew about the project. They were always in his laboratory? I don't know. Listen to me. If you saw Lang's creation, 
Would you? Would you be able to recognize it? I don't know. If you saw everything but the face? No. Yes. Yes, I would. Adam. Jeff. Look at this man and tell me if he is what Lang was trying to bring to life. It's all right, Adam. It's all right. Yes. Yes. He's alive! He's alive. They made him live. You can go back to your reading now, Adam. Oh. Jeff. Jeff, we must continue. We must forget Adam. We must continue with you before Lang. Before Lang. No, no, don't you understand? If he made him, if he was able to make him live, maybe he made me too. No. No, there was nothing before Lang. Nothing. Jeff, I will count to five. When you hear the number five, you will awake. You will remember nothing. Do you understand? Nothing. Nothing. One. Nothing. Two. Three. Four. Five. All right, Doctor. Okay, tell me who I am. Where is Jeff? I don't care who he is. So you say. But you wouldn't have brought him to see me if it were true. I care for his sake. A man has to know. Does he? Or does Victoria Winters? I'm sorry. You're only sorry because I came and he didn't. Actually, I had no intention of seeing you. I want to talk to Julia Hoffman. She isn't here. I, I asked Cassandra where she was, and she said she was in town. Cassandra? Yes, about a half an hour ago. Cassandra is here? Yes, she came back. You didn't know. When? Yesterday afternoon, sir. I'm sure you'll be glad to know. From your voice, I recognize such concern. Sorry, Mr. Blair. This is Professor Stokes. This is Nicholas Blair, Cassandra's brother. Oh, you are an authority then, aren't you? I think so, yes. Won't you sit down? Actually, uh, we have met before, you know. No, I don't. At the antique shop in the village when you were selling the dealer a painting. The uh, same portrait you bought, Miss Winters. Quite a coincidence. <laughs> well, yes, it would be, if it were true. <laughs> I have always said there are too many men who look like me. I have never been in Collinsport before, I am sorry to say. Indeed. If you'll excuse me, it, uh, it is late. I was just returning from my afternoon walk. We shall see each other again, Professor, I am sure. I will tell my sister you are asking after her. Please, please do, Mr. Blair. If you will excuse me, Miss Winter. the picture. In my room. She has returned. He is here. The colors in the picture are as they were before. You must leave Collingwood. Professor Stokes. Tonight. Are you serious? Very. But I can't. Unless you do, you will have the dream. There's no one to tell it to me. Sam Evans is dead. We'll find a way to make you have it. 
If you do, Barnabas Collins will be your beckoner. Then he will have it, and he will die. Go now. Pack quickly. You must get away from this house. Leave Collinwood. Who told you this? Professor Stokes. Why? Because I'll have the dream. Vicky. You had the dream. You know how terrifying it is. Sure, I had it. But I'm still alive. If I have it, Barnabas won't be. Vicky, it's a dream. That's all. A nightmare. You don't seem to understand. There's a curse attached to it. Professor Stokes says there's a curse attached to it. And there is. You just can't seem to believe that I'm the one that's been chosen to bring the dream to Barnabas. I can't do that. Stokes has even got you believing that. <sighs> Didn't you ever think that, that he might be wrong? Why is he so infallible? He certainly wasn't with me. The only reason I let him hypnotize me was to find out where I came from and who I was. Oh. And what happened? Nothing. Oh, but that doesn't shake your confidence in Stokes, does it? You go right on believing everything he tells you. You're not trying to understand. No, I'm not. I'm tired of trying to understand. Vicki, you once told me that, that you'd do anything I ask you. I said that. Then don't go. Now look, that's all there is to it. Is it finished? Settled. Okay? It's not finished. Professor Stokes gave me a very good reason for leaving Collinwood because of the dream. You haven't given me a reason why I should stay. Jeff, I'm not a mind reader. I don't know what's going on in your head. You should be able to. Well, I, I wish I could, but sometimes you just cut me out so. Yeah, I guess I do. Jeff, I'm sorry Professor Stokes wasn't able to help you find out more about yourself. I know. Perhaps you think that I... I've, I've forced you to go there. Perhaps you, you think that I was doing it just for my own sake. Weren't you? Yes, partly. But I thought you wanted to find out, too. I never intended to force you, even though you may think I did. I do. Vicki, what kind of a person do you think I am? You know, sometimes I think that you care more for me than I care for myself. No, this is impossible. The whole thing, unless I find out something about myself. Oh. You know, it's like there's a 50-foot wall inside my mind, and I, I can't get to the top to see over. So I take it all out on you. You haven't been until now. Jeff, I know how depressed you must feel. Don't start pitying me. I'm not. I'm just trying to say that I understand that the reason that you want me to stay here. Do you? You need me. That's all. Even though you can't say it. That's only part of it. What's the rest? You believe all this nonsense, don't you? About the dream. Are you willing to go away, save Barnabas Collins? Are you jealous? <sighs> yes, I guess I am. You know Barnabas loves you, don't you? No, Jeff, he doesn't. Look, I don't want to see anything happen to him. That part of it's true. Since I've been living here, I've seen so many things. Horrible things. I don't want anything else to happen. You've got to trust me. Where does Stokes want you to go? doesn't care, but just anywhere that Cassandra won't be able to find me and make me have the dream. Well, you could tell her you're going away. What do you mean? Well, then you could stay at Maggie Evans. They'd think you were in Boston, and I could see you. You know, I do care for you. And I can say it. Excuse me. Mrs. Collins. I was looking for David. I thought he'd be here with you. 
No, he's upstairs. Mrs. Collins, may I talk to you for a moment? Yes. I, I have to go away for about a week. And I'll talk to Roger about it if you prefer, but I have to leave immediately. No, that's impossible. I'm sorry I can't give you any more it's notes. It's not practical for you to leave right now. I'm sure my husband would agree. We were just discussing last night that David's training up until now has been very casual. If Roger has any complaints, I, I, I wish he'd speak to me about them. Yes, you can speak to him about it tomorrow. No, I must leave tonight. It's the worst possible time for you to go. I'm not able to devote the time to David that I would like to. As you know, my brother is visiting me. And yes, I'm aware of that. But it's very important that I leave tonight. Even if you don't have a position to come back to, Miss Winters? All the time you have wasted, Cassandra. Weeks or minutes to you. And there has been no accounting. But now... There must be. Now. Come to the gazebo. Now. Wherever you are, stop what you are doing and come. The gazebo. Now. Mrs. Collins, is something wrong? The gazebo. This minute. Excuse me. Speak to Roger, but tell him how I feel. You interrupted me. When you were doing something very important, I'm sure. Yes, I was. Victoria Winters wants to leave Collinwood tonight. I must stop her. My dear Cassandra, how commonplace you have become, like some suburban housewife with little human worries. But she must have the dream. <sighs> how much time and energy you have wasted on this Barnabas Collin. Don't start that with me again. Don't you talk to me like that. You're hurting me. I am not Roger Collins. I do not care whether I hurt you or not. Let go of me. I will let go of you when you remember why you are here. I'm here because you allowed me to come. Exactly. I listened to your pleas. It will take so little time, you said. He has escaped me, and that must not happen. You even pointed out what a bad precedent it set, but it has taken you so long. I think you like it here. I even think you would prefer to go on just scaring Barnabas Collins, teasing him. No, that's not true. Why is he not as he was before, then? It's not my fault that Sam Evans died. If he had lived, he would have told Vicky the dream and she would have had it and told it to Barnabas. A little obstacle like death can stop you. Vicky will have the dream tonight if she stays at Collinwood. Then make her stay. I need your help. I have very little interest in this tawdry affair. I let you come back for your vanity's sake and it has undone you. You cannot even stop a girl from leaving a house. She's so suspicious of me. Everyone in that house distrusts you. That's not true. I have eyes. They see more than you intend them to. They even see that you are still in love with Barnabas Collins. No. no you I'm had, not. You had the power to change him the first day you were here. Why didn't you? 